Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my last Valentine's Day makeup look. I kept this a lot more like classic. Um, the eyes are very neutral so you can pair it with any lip shade you want. And good thing about this look, it is completely drugstore. So if you'd like to see how to recreate this easy Valentine's Day look, then go ahead and continue to watch. Hey guys, so I'm going to do kind of like a talk through tutorial. I haven't done one in a while, so I feel like I should do one today. So this is going to be the palette that I'm using. It's the Mad for Matte from e.l.f. And I'm just going to go ahead and do my eyes and stuff on camera. I'm going to do my face off of camera because you've seen that a bunch of times. So I'm going to take my um, lab squared brush and take this color right here. It's like a nice transition color. And since I have concealer over my eyes, I'm going to kind of set the concealer and place this all over my Okay, so I've covered everything from my lid to right about here. I've left my um, arch just kind of free, just so I can put a different color there later. Um, I don't think I want to keep this whole look matte, so I'm just going to build up my crease right now. I'm going to keep the eyes very, very, very simple, um, but I probably will put like a shimmery color in my, on my lid. So next I'm going to take this deeper brown with the same brush and just place this into the outer part of my crease to kind of just build that shape up. <clears throat> Okay, so now that I have that color built up to the intensity that I want, I'm going to take this shade right here, which kind of just matches my skin tone, sort of, and with a different fluffy brush. I think this is from, like, Real Tech, oh no, Eco Tools. Um, I think I got this from Target, like, years ago, but it's still in good condition, so whatever. <laughs> but I'm going to take this color right here and just kind of blend the two colors together, and I'm only putting a little tiny bit on my brush and tapping off the excess because I don't want to add any additional colors. I just kind of want to blend them together. Okie dokie, so I want to deepen up the crease just a little tiny bit more. I'm going to take this brush right here, it's from e.l.f. Um, it's just an eyeshadow brush, and I'm going to take the deepest shade in here, which is kind of like a charcoal black, it's like a really dark grayish brown, kind of. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to take that and then just place it tight into my crease right here, and I'm not going to bring it any further in than where this darker color. into the outer V. I'm going to take this brush that I had in the beginning with no product on it and I'm just blending the um, darker color into the dark brown that I put. Okay, so I'm going to take this Wet n Wild, I don't know what this is, it's just like a jumbo crayon and it's in this like shimmery kind of champagne color see right there and I'm going to place it on like the inner two-thirds of my lid <clears throat> I don't want to put it any farther I don't want this to be a cut crease I just kind of want it to be shimmery on the inner corner <laughs> to be neat or anything, I just kind of put 
put it down messily because I'm going to put another um, eyeshadow on top of it. So I'm just using it as a base. I'm just taking my finger and kind of blending it in into the other color. And then in a minute, I will take the dark brown shadow that I used from the e.l.f. palette and blend it into this after I lay the other shimmer color down. Okay, so this is the 24 karat nudes from Maybelline. And I'm going to take this color right here on uh, just a flat brush and place that onto the base that I just sat down. So back in the 24 karat palette, I'm going to take this shade right here, which is a really pale shade that has the tiniest amount of sheen to it, and place it just on the arch of my brow bone. Hopefully it's not too light for my skin tone, but when I swatched it on my hand, it didn't, it's not very pigmented, so it should be okay. So I'm going to just tap off the excess just in case, and place it right on the arch. Okay, that's perfect. Place it there, and then I will blend it out. I feel like I was blocking you guys the whole time from seeing anything. Okay, now I'm just going to use the NYC liquid liner and do just a regular wing, nothing fancy. Okay, so I went ahead and put my liner on. I'm going to put some mascara on my top and bottom lashes, 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 and then put um, some falsies on, and then I'll pop back on after my foundation and everything is done. Okay, so my face is already done, and I have my lashes and stuff on. Um, I have two lip options. I'm going to either do a red lip or a pink lip, so I'm going to show you both with this look. That's why I kept the eye look very neutral, so you can pair it with any color lip you want. Um, so let me go ahead and show you the red lip first. I'm just going to use, and of course, both of my lip liners would not be sharpened. <laughs> well, I'm just using my black brown um, from Nabby. Let me make sure that's what it's called, right? Yeah, black brown. So I'm just gonna line my lips real quick. Or line, I'm gonna take Devoted from Milani because I wanna keep this look drugstore, so it is nice and budget friendly. classic Valentine's Day look. Um, really pretty. I like it a lot. And then I'm going to show you what it looks like with pink lips. Okay, so my lips are lined with Raisin from Nabby. And I'm going to take these two Milani liquid lipsticks. This one is in Fancy, and then this one is in Gorgeous. So I'm going to line my lips first. Not line them, but fill my lips in first with Gorgeous, and then put Fancy right in the center for a little ombre. <laughs> So, yeah, let me know what your guys' favorite is, whether you like the pink or the red. Either way, um, you can p obviously pair this with any lip color you want to, because I kept the eyes so neutral. But, yeah, I, I like this look a lot, and it's more of a classic Valentine's Day look. Super easy. Everything was drugstore, so hopefully you guys can recreate this look. If you do recreate this look, let me know. Like, tag me on Instagram or Twitter or whatever. Um, I'll have all of my 
links and stuff in the next little video clip. But hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!